Back here at home, we are tracking the start of an extended heat wave, and we're not alone. As you can see here, about 82% of the U.S. population is expected to experience 90 degree weather this week, just in time for the first day of summer, which is on Thursday. Chris and a lot of people are in for those yeah. really warm summer temperatures. You got to beat the heat this week. And only 82% of the country, huh? Only, only 82. 82. <laughs> and, you know, I had mentioned this earlier. What's concerning is it's only June. It's the middle of June, for crying out loud. We're starting to see this already. July and August are the hottest months of the year, not just here in the Philadelphia area, but across the lower 48. So we'll see what happens here. But there's a, a good indication from some of the long-range forecast guidance that July is going to be a steam bath pretty much from start to finish. So uh, and then we get into the dog days of August. All right, heat wave begins today. Now today's a really nice day. The city itself will manage a high of about 90 or 91, but a couple of things. One, the surrounding suburbs will stay in the 80s today, and two, the heat index is going to mirror that actual air temperature. There's really no humidity today. It's tomorrow when the intense heat begins. That's when we start to see some humidity too. We do have a heat advisor that was issued for Tuesday, and then that goes over to an excessive heat watch from Wednesday on. Now I just spoke with the National Weather Service, and they actually said that they may have to tone this down to an advisory or downgrade this to an advisory for at least Wednesday and then we'll see what happens Thursday and Friday. That's when the heat index could get to at least 100 if not higher and then this would go over to an excessive heat warning. So here's a look at some of the heat tips. Remember it's the longevity of this heat wave that we really are concerned about and the fact that it is so early in the season. We haven't really had to deal with a lot of heat so far this year. So you got to drink a lot of water if you're going to be outdoors for an extended period of time, which I highly don't recommend. If you are outdoors for a long period of time, you take your breaks. Check on the elderly and the pets. If you don't have air conditioning, open up the windows and turn on the fan and you never leave pets and kids alone in a car. Remember, if you get out of the car, they get out of the car too.